Hey everyone, so this video is on diabetes and the three P's. I'm going to try my best at simplifying what diabetes is and what the three P's are and why they happen. So diabetes is a disease in which the way your body uses blood sugar or glucose is out of whack. So you might already know that there are two types of diabetes mellitus. There's a type 1 and a type 2, uh, but both have the same problem, uncontrolled blood sugar or glucose. Okay, so it all comes down to insulin. And insulin is a hormone that your pancreas makes and it tells the cells to take um, glucose out of the blood. But if there's a miscommunication with your body and insulin, or if the body doesn't make enough insulin, then the cells never get that memo and all that glucose is left floating around in the blood. Okay, so in type one diabetes, your pancreas uh, just doesn't make enough insulin. And in type 2 diabetes, your cells kind of start getting annoyed with the message and they just don't want to listen anymore. And this is called insulin resistance. And it happens for several reasons, which we aren't 100% sure of yet. All right, so let's get down to the three Ps. Three Ps are polydipsia, polyphagia, and polyuria. And poly just means a lot of. Dips dipsia means to drink. And phagia means to eat. Urea is urine. So if you start noticing that you're getting thirsty a lot and you're drinking a lot, you're getting hungry a lot and you're starting to eat a lot more than normal, or you're starting to go to the bathroom a lot to pee, then you probably might want to get your blood sugar checked out. Okay, so let's break this down. So I want you to imagine sitting down and having a nice cup of tea. Uh, it's unsweet tea and you like sweet tea. So you put in some sugar, and then you notice that you poured way too much sugar in and now it's too sweet. So you don't like it, you want a certain amount of sweetness. So to fix it, you just pour in some more tea, some more unsweet tea and now it's uh, just the right amount. So keep this in mind to understand what uh, I'll be talking about, about the three Ps. The same thing happens in your bloodstream. Your blood likes to be at a certain level of sweetness. Now insulin is the one that handles how much sugar is taken out of the blood. But if you have diabetes, then you have a problem with insulin and your cells can't take glucose out of the blood. So they have to do something to keep the level of sweetness. And what your cells do, uh, they start giving up water. They start putting water back into the bloodstream of their own water. Uh, but now because they gave up that water to fix the blood concentration or osmolarity or sweetness, however you want to think about it, your cells start become dehydrated and they get thirsty. And if your cells are thirsty, you're going to be thirsty. So even though you may have enough total body water, your body will still think it needs more. And then you have the first P, polydipsia, increased thirst. Okay, so the second P, polyphagia, happens because even though you have plenty of glucose floating around in your blood, it's not getting into the cells. Uh, insulin can be sending out the message, but it's not doing any good if your cells are getting annoyed or if insulin is out of town, as in type 1 diabetes. So if your cells are hungry, then you're going to be hungry. And you can keep eating normally, uh, but it's not going to do any good, and you'll have polyphagia. Okay, and finally, polyuria. So your body doesn't like to lose glucose. It needs it to power itself. So the kidney will try to save the glucose. Any coming in from the blood, it will just put it right back into the blood. Uh, but your kidney can only do so much. And when there's too much glucose floating around, then some of it actually makes it into your urine, especially if you have diabetes. Uh, but remember, if the urine is too sweet, just like the sweet tea, the same thing's gonna happen. Water will follow out of the cells and out of the kidney. So you're going to have a lot of pee. And ta-da, polyuria. Okay, so between type 1 diabetes and type 2, someone with a type 1 diabetes can actually develop these symptoms pretty quickly because they have no insulin. Uh, someone with type 2 diabetes uh, will have these symptoms develop over time and actually can get, go unnoticed for many years. Uh, their pancreas can also start getting worn out from making so much insulin because the body doesn't respond to it that eventually it just stops making it. Um, so don't forget that type 1 and type 2 diabetes can develop at almost any age. Um, and be on the lookout for the three P's of diabetes, and you might want to get checked if you're experiencing that. So thanks for listening, and if you have any questions, let me know. And I think I'm going to have a little break now because I'm actually craving a sweet tea. 
See ya.